Here's another kind of calculation based on an equation. This time the question is, which reactant is in excess? It says, 2 grams of calcium carbonate is added to 25 cubic centimetres of 0.4 moles per litre hydrochloric acid. Which reactant is in excess? Which of these do we have too much of? When two reactants are thrown together, almost certainly one of them is in excess of the other one. There's too much of one, not enough of the other. To tackle this question, once again, we have to work out how many moles of calcium carbonate is 2 grams, how many moles of acid do we have? Only by turning them both into moles can we compare the two. According to our balance equation, one mole of calcium carbonate reacts with two moles of hydrochloric acid. If you look up the numbers in the data book to see what one mole of calcium carbonate weighs, you'll find calcium is 40, carbon is 12, oxygen is 16, and there are three oxygens, giving us a total of one grams. That would be one mole. 100 grams of calcium carbonate is one mole. But we don't have 100 grams of calcium carbonate, we only have two grams. So how many moles is this? The answer is two grams divided by 100. It's this fraction of a mole. When you do this sum, the answer comes to 0 0.02 of a mole. That's how much calcium carbonate we have. Let's put that aside and work on the acid now. How much acid is this? We use the equation N equals CV. The number of moles can be calculated if we know the concentration and the volume of the acid. Well, we do know the concentration of the acid, it's 0.4, and we do know the volume, it's 25 cubic centimetres. So the concentration of acid is 0.4, and the volume is 25. Ah, but never forget, the volume must be in litres. We're talking here about moles per litre. So, 25 cubic centimetres divided by 1,000 converts to litres. When we do this sum, 0.4 times 25 divided by 1,000, this comes to 0.01 of a mole. Now, which is in excess? It looks easy, it looks automatically as if this is in excess, but we have to check. We go back here. According to our recipe, according to our equation, we need only half as much calcium carbonate as acid. Two lots of acid require only one lot of calcium carbonate. If this is how much acid we have, we only need half that amount of calcium carbonate. And that is obviously excess. That's obviously more than half that number. Therefore, the calcium carbonate is in 